do you want to transform your webcam quality from this to to this? If the answer is yes, follow along for the rest of the video and I'll tell you how. Hi, my name is Jesse and this is the Logitech C922. Now the Logitech C922 or the Logitech C920 are probably the most widely used webcams in content creation on YouTube and Twitch. Now, during the past two years I've been using the Logitech, I've learned quite a lot of good tips and tricks on how to make the quality really stand out and I've actually gotten some compliments on how it almost looks like a DSLR. So today I'm gonna share these tips and tricks with you, but first a word from our sponsor. Uh, what's the sponsor again? Mom! Who was the sponsor of today's video? What? What do you mean move out of my basement? <sighs> Looks like we don't have a sponsor for today. But yeah, let's rewind and start from the beginning. Now this is the basic quality you can expect out of the C922 out of the box. You see it's not as sharp, the colors are a bit washed out. Uh, but when it comes to cameras, web cameras, cameras in general, the most important thing is light. Lighting. How good is your light? That really determines the quality of uh, the camera. Now lighting can be super expensive, think like Elgato or something, but in my case I've managed to fix it fairly cheap and I'll show you what I have to work with here. The first thing I have is a ring light from Wish. I think it costs like 10 euros, so it's super cheap. My second light I'm gonna turn on is a, actually a sun lamp we use here in Finland when it gets too dark. It's just a super bright light. And I'm gonna turn them on for you, you'll see how it changes. This is the ring light only, because it already the quality is a little bit better. The second light evens it out a little bit, you know. It's a little sharper, but still looks a bit washed out. But the third light I use, and actually the one that has the most impact, is a floodlight behind me on the on the floor. It really makes the whole camera stand out. This is the white light. Now if I keep it on white, I start looking a bit yellow. But if I turn around and put it to purple, for example, it starts to look kind of nice starts to look kind of nice. Now the next thing we can do to improve the quality is change some settings in OBS and apply some filters as well. And I'm gonna jump into the next scene and show you how we do that. So now that we are inside our OBS, the next thing we are gonna do, we are gonna click file, we're gonna click settings, we are gonna click video, and we're gonna check our downscale filter settings. Uh, now selecting between bicubic and launches will decide how sharp your image is gonna look like. For some people, the launches might seem a little bit overly sharpened, but that's just the way I like it. But you can select between bicubic and launches. So the next thing we're gonna do is apply a loot filter to our camera source. So we are gonna go into our camera source, we're gonna go into our C922 settings, add filters, click add and apply loot. Now I already applied my loot here and I found this loot pack from the gaming careers website, which I'm gonna link down below, where you can download a couple of different loots and see which works for you the best. But we're gonna apply the loot, and instantly the webcam looks so much more professional, clean. Right. See between 0 and 80. I like to keep mine at 80, but depending on your lighting and everything, you're gonna have to play around with that. One thing we can also do is add a color correction filter, if you wanna play around with your brightness, contrast and stuff. I just added a little extra contrast to my video. So now our webcam is already looking super nice compared to what it was when we started. But it still doesn't have that DSLR feel or look that we're really going for. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can go ahead to NVIDIA's uh, website and download their NVIDIA Broadcast Engine. I'm gonna link that down in the description as well. But basically you just download it and install it, super simple. Then when you open up their software, show it to you, it's gonna look like this. Where you have your camera source, where you select your webcam. And after that you're gonna go into your OBS again. 
and going to your webcam properties and select a new webcam that says camera nvidia broadcast here and when we change to it tada background blur but you still need to set it up from here now it says uh, source camera is busy we're just gonna wait for a little bit there we go and it's gonna give you a couple of different settings here mainly the thing we are looking for is background blur that gives it that Nice DSLR field. You can set it to quite blurry as well, but I like to keep it here. Not too much, so we can still see my paintings behind me. So we have background blur, background replacement, removal. Which basically works as a green screen. But yeah, let's keep it to blur. There we go. But yeah, here we are, looking a lot better than when we started. So let me know in the comment section below if you found this video helpful and if you're gonna try it out on your own webcam and if you did, did you get a nice good quality upgrade out of it. I'm also gonna leave a couple of links in the description to help you out as well as a link to my Twitch where I stream at least every Monday so feel free to follow me there as well. But yeah, if you liked the video hit that like and sub button to get some nice good videos like this in the future and uh, also share it to a friend maybe, help me out. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again. Goodbye.